I thought, 50 pounds just for going to the park? Okay. But what happened from there, it continued. So pretty much every single day, instead of me coming to school for weeks, for months, I was meeting this guy and I basically become his drug brother. Now fast forward, I got to the age of 15. How many guys? When I got to 15, I thought to myself, you know what? I'm sick and tired of running around for this guy. I believe I've got enough knowledge to do this myself. Furthermore, I had my own group of friends who were in that similar mindset. Didn't really care about school, was more focused on trying to make some money, want to buy nice things, etc. So we kind of formed our own gang, if you want to call it a gang. Now, who's heard of the word box? Majority of you in this room have heard of the word box. There was a party that was going on one night in Sheffield, but this party that was happening was not in our area. So right now this is Cemetery Junction. Imagine there was a party in Thailand, you see. So my friend just said, you know what? There's no crack going to the party. It's gonna be beef, it's gonna be long, forget it. But like I said to you guys, I had no problem with you growing up. I didn't listen to Mumsy. I definitely didn't listen to teachers. Sometimes I didn't listen to my own friends. I was very independent minded. So I said to my friends, get all that. I'm going to the party. I knew a few people then there. I pulled up at the party. I've enjoyed the party. It was calm. I've come out at the end of the night. I'm socialising with my friends outside. As you do, just talking. Now, as you can see, I'm quite tall. So I'm looking around, looking around. And as I'm looking right at the back, I've seen three guys. Probably the, one of them had a little belly on his face. Now, from when I saw them, I'm not gonna lie, I was a bit paranoid. Anxiety started kicking in. I'm thinking, who's that? Who do you reckon it was? It was an op. It was an opposition guy. <laughs> that, you right there, yeah? It was an opposition guy that got tipped off. Now guys, I'm going to be very honest, what I'm talking to you about today is something real. This isn't GTA, this isn't something I've Googled, this is about real, real life. If anyone finds it funny or wants banter, then step out of the room. Because I'm not here for banter, I'm here for, for what's going on in you guys' life. Now, when I come out, it was the ops, they're approaching me. Now, what do you reckon my mindset was at that point? Run. Run, fight. Those are the two main options. Like I said, I'm going to be honest with you. When I saw these guys coming towards me, I was gone. I shift out of there so fast. The problem that I had is, like I said, it was the opposition area. I'm going to call it that. I didn't know that area. So I'm now running, 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 ducking through this area, being chased by these guys. And the problem that I had as well was me and my friends used to intoxicate our bodies, drinking alcohol, smoking weed, cigarettes. So me, I was very, very unhealthy growing up. It got to a point where I was I was banging on people's doors, literally random doors, saying, please do me a favour, let me in, I'm being chased. To be honest with you, no one can let me in. It's now got to a point where I thought, well, you're going to catch me up. Growing up in the environment I did, old people used to say to me, if you ever get caught up in a situation, put yourself somewhere where it's lit up. So because it was night time, I didn't want to get caught down the alleyway or somewhere dark. So I made sure I've gone literally in the middle of the road. Imagine each side's got houses, stand in the road so these people can see what's going on. One of them's pulling me up, he's pulled out a long metal bike chain, he's got your bags up with him, he's hit me on the back of my head, I'm literally dropped to the floor now. As I'm on the floor, he kind of just boot, like kicking him away, kicking him away. One of them pulled out a long machete type knife. Now when I saw that, my whole life literally just flashed before me. I thought that's it. Came start flashing away, flashing away, just caught me on my leg, caught me on my head. Luckily, because I was in the middle of the road, the car was rolled up and scared away from the car. My guy potentially saved my life. Now, because of what I knew was happening in my area, I became quite scared. I didn't want my friends to get hurt, so I used to go into my mum's kitchen drawer. She didn't even know until I started to start and I threw her in. And I said, go in the kitchen drawer, I'll take a knife, I'll put it in my school bag. And so one day, on my way to school, I stopped at the local corner shop. 
as you see these little snaps, and I've got a tap on the shoulder. Who do you reckon it was? This is this, right? This is a tap on the shoulder, send it straight down there, do a stop and search. Me being me, you were so cool for me to carry a knife. I'm a knife, key, pop, normal food. So I forgot it was in the left. Taking my bag, found the kitchen knife, four, slapped it on my Google record. And even until today, that's still on me. That's another thing you have to also uh, take into consideration. The actions you take from today as a young person can seriously affect you long term. But we will go into that a bit later on. Also, social media. Again, this is a major one. Back in my day, social media wasn't massive. It wasn't. Now you guys have got TikTok, Snapchat, Instagram. Everything's literally in your face, flashing up on all new pages, all types of content. But just don't get brainwashed by this content. Don't get sucked in as a lot of people are. Try and be cleaned up. You see what's going on. It was only last week, I switched on the news, and it came up. Two 12-year-olds, 12-year-olds, got arrested in Wolverhampton for murdering a 19-year-old. Deep in. Two 12-year-olds got arrested for killing a 19-year-old. This is what we're having to do with this current You've got sisters, nieces, cousins, girlfriends, it applies to them. Now, I told you guys I've got five children. Three of my children are girls, I have three daughters. And something that really, really cringes me out about how I used to be back in the day is how I used to manipulate girls around me. It's not nice, it's not something I'm proud of. But if I had a girl, I told them, you're my wife, you're my babe. Like me, hold my drugs for until tomorrow. If you really want to be with me, hold my shank. Females understand your value and understand your worth. Eat. Understand your value as an individual and understand your worth. Do not let anybody, male, female, cat, dog, manipulate you or coerce you into doing something you do not want to do. Because unfortunately, it happens in society. Understand. If you do get caught in possession of, of whether it be drugs or a knife or any other type of illegal substances, you will be held accountable for this. Clean as that, you will be held accountable. Anything is possible, but it's down to you as an individual. Not your friend, not your mom, not your dad. It's down to you as an individual. You have to put yourself first. Key advice, put yourself first. Myself, I feel like a waste man. I left from school with no GCSEs, right? Growing up in school and out of school, obviously doing what I was doing, I didn't value GCSEs. I didn't think I needed GCSEs because I thought the roads was going to be my set way of life. I had this plan that, yeah, I'm going to be on road until this age. I'm going to get a little yard, I'm going to live with all the man then. Rubbish. Absolute rubbish. I remember when it was year 11 and everyone's going to come in for GCSE results day. You're going to be in your little friendship groups, everyone's waiting, excited, to cool. Everyone now gets handed their envelopes. You're now looking at yours, what have you got, what have you got, what have you got? You see me? I'm standing there, <laughs> nothing. Standing there like a donut. Everyone's cheering, happy, they're going to go, Cox's going to do this. I was just like, oh my gosh, I just want to talk about it. I felt like such an embarrassment. I wasted five years of school doing nothing. And then I had to go back to school, uh, sorry, back to college, that's when I came to this college, and do my GCSEs again. I had to do my GCSEs again. Now don't be someone like myself and waste your time in college, in school, because it's a very, very short chapter of your life. If you look at your life like a book, primary school is chapter one, you've done that. You're now in secondary school. You're seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, five years. It's not a very, very long time. I'm telling you that now. If I could go back to school and rewind the clock, I would. I would probably be the number one kid in school, man, right? just for learning, because now I understand. So use your time while you're in school. And also, it might sound a bit cliche, it might sound a bit weird, but interact with your teachers. Because your teachers, just like myself, they have their own lived experiences, their own things that they've been through. Use your teachers as tools. Yeah? Use them to your advantage. Ask them questions. Why 